Hello, this is Tammy Hewlett from Swimming in Stamps. I'm back for my last video for October, and I'll show you how to finish off this calendar page. So, um, what we need to do is go back to the Love Story stamps, and let me open those up. And let's start off. I'm going to show you how to add a little dimension to your page. Oh, it's not love story. I got confused. Silly me. It's holiday home. I'm forgetting which one I'm working on. Uh, okay. Let me go back. I was right there. Okay. So let's see. So first uh, I added the bats and I copied and pasted that once and uh, cropped it just this little guy down here just so that I could make it look like they were flying around and so I moved him over here that part's pretty easy the uh, pumpkin when I brought that over I actually put a medium oval punch behind it so you can find that right here it's about the right size and just size it down, put it behind that pumpkin, and that's easy. And once you get that done once, um, copy and paste it a couple times so that you don't have to do it more than once. So the back layer is going to be um, Chris Cantaloupe. So go over here and color fill it. Sorry, my computer's taking a little bit of time right now. And then um, send that backwards. Then the top layer, we are going to change the color. To Tangelo Twist, and then once it's all colored Tangelo Twist, hit the coloring tool, zoom in, and you can take your mossy meadow and color the stem up here, and hit OK. All right, and once you get that done, then go back to your layers palette, and highlight both of those items. So first bring your stamp up front and click on that. Hold down the shift key until you've got them both highlighted and then just say arrange group. And once you've got that done, copy and paste it two more times. And you can put one of them over here and then one on this side of the house and you can even make them a little bit smaller so it looks like you've got different sizes um and oh what i did too to make it look like you know they weren't all the same was i ungrouped it actually bring that one forward bring it to the front so it's in front of that other one and i ungrouped it so that I could just click on this front stamp and then what I did was mirror it so it looks a little different and the stem went the other way and then I also added drop shadows to all of those oh wait you know what I didn't because it looked like they were floating so I didn't like that so I left them with no drop shadows okay so for the trees though this is what I wanted to show you let's go back to the stamps and for the trees, I have one tree in front of the house, and you want to make sure that the stem goes in front of the level of the house. That way it actually looks like it's in front. Then copy and paste that, and this time we're going to put it a little bit up, and we're actually going to move it behind the house so it, it looks like it's... Um, 
it's behind. So when you put the level above the level of the house, the, your eye makes it think like it's in the background. So take that top one and move it behind the house and all those layers. Um, and then it's going to look like this is in the right place. Now the other thing you can do is play with colors. Copy and paste that tree again. And this time put it up even higher. Maybe even make it a little smaller. So it looks like it's in the distance. You can mirror it so it looks like it's a different tree and then change the color to basic gray because as things get far away they look a little mistier so they're going to get actually lighter in the background so we're going to make this one in the back gray and then again we'll just move it behind that other tree once we're done um, now, and on mine, I even added another tree that was Smoky Slate behind that, and another tree in the background over here. Um, so let's see if we can do that, if I have enough time. So I added another copy, changed it to Smoky Slate. I think the only thing we haven't done at this point is add the ghost and that's really easy. All of these trees have drop shadows so you're going to want to add those individually. Um, I just don't want to run out of time. So again add it a little higher, make it a little smaller, maybe uh, mirror it again just so it looks different from the one that it's right next to. Then copy and paste it again and move it over here. And let's mirror it again. And then it's just a matter of putting those all in the right layers. So these trees are going to have to go behind the others. And you're, you know, it's, it's going to look like they're going in the distance. So that's just a little deceptive trick you can use uh, to trick the eye into thinking things are farther away. Um, I think that's pretty much it. These little pumpkins, as you move them forward and backward, actually I don't want to move that one because I ungrouped it. I'm just going to raise that one up. But again, as they're coming forward, if you put them forward, it makes it look like it's in front of the one before. So, and then the light post is even farther forward and it's really big. So again, that looks like it's really in the foreground. Okay, so in case, oh, and I, you know, I, I did add some of these little spiders too. I put one on the house, so I mirrored it. So it would go into this corner, made it a little smaller. Um, and then what I did was also I cropped one and hung it off the light post. So copy paste. Again, I'm not positioning it very well, but just uh, don't worry about it. Bring it over here and then crop it so that you can just get the spider. and go ahead and position it hanging off the light post. And then I had one here too on the label. It's a little hard to see because of the Blackberry Bliss. And the final step was to add that little ghosty right here. Whoops. Okay, now my computer decides to act up. So anyway, you can do that. Just pick it up. If your computer starts doing funny things like this, try saving a lot of times that will, when you've got lots and lots of layers like we do here, um, sometimes it'll act funny like this. And sometimes you've got to close it and reopen it. So if I do that, my video will stop. There we go. Sometimes you just need to be patient. So you can try several of those little things. I'm kind of moving fast in this video. Okay, so there we go. We're done with October. Hope you guys like that. And I hope you have the patience to complete it. 
Um, the last thing you want to do again is to move your 